Like linear velocity, tangential velocity is the circular displacement of an object divided by a period of time. We still use the variable v for velocity, and we use the subscript t to mean tangential, which we'll explain soon. The SI unit for tangential velocity is meters per second, the same as linear velocity. As an example, if this car drove 80 meters around the track in 10 seconds, then the car's tangential velocity was 80 meters divided by 10 seconds, which is 8 meters per second, or about 29 kilometers per hour. The speed gauge in the car would display the car's tangential velocity. Remember, the gauge doesn't know the car is driving in a circle. It just measures the velocity of the car along whatever path it's following. Now, let's talk about the difference between tangential speed and velocity. Remember that speed is a scalar. It only includes the magnitude of the velocity, and it's always a positive number. But velocity is a vector. It includes both a magnitude and a direction, and it can be positive or negative. If a car's speed is 30 kilometers per hour, the velocity needs a direction. For circular motion, that can only be 30 kilometers per hour counterclockwise or clockwise. Or instead, we could say positive or negative 30 kilometers per hour, based on our axis, where the positive and negative tell us the direction. So what does that look like? If this car is driving in a circle with a constant speed of 30 kilometers per hour, we could say that the velocity of the car is 30 kilometers per hour clockwise. But we're usually going to set up a circular axis to describe the motion and we're going to establish the positive and negative directions up front. Conventionally, clockwise is the negative direction, so based on this axis, the velocity of the car would be negative 30 kilometers per hour. If the car was driving counterclockwise, then we would say the velocity is positive 30 kilometers per hour. When talking about direction, there's another thing we need to cover. Why do we call this the tangential velocity? It comes from geometry. For any point on a curved line or a circle, a tangent line is a line that passes through that point and matches the slope or the curvature of the line at that point. For a point on a circle, the tangent line will only touch the circle at that one point. If we draw a line from that point to the center of the circle, the tangent line will be perpendicular to this radius line. And as this point moves around the circle, the tangent line rotates, and it always remains tangent to the circle. So, as this car drives around in a circle, the direction the car is pointing always falls onto a line that is tangent to the circular path. So we call this the tangential velocity. You might also hear this referred to as the linear velocity of an object in circular motion because we're describing the object's velocity along this tangent line at a given instant. From the car's point of view, its motion is being described as if the circular path was straightened out into a line. So while it's fair to say that the direction of the car's velocity is counterclockwise while it's moving, we can also describe the direction of the velocity at a single moment in time. This is what we call the instantaneous velocity and it refers to the direction of the velocity vector, this arrow, at an instant in time. Let's use a compass to help us describe it. If we pause time when the car is here, what direction is the car moving? At this moment, the car is moving upwards, which is north. So the car's velocity, at this instant, is 30 kilometers per hour north. If we pause time when the car is here, the car is moving to the left. So the velocity of the car at this time is 30 kilometers per hour west. Here, the car's velocity is 30 kilometers per hour south. And here, it's 30 kilometers per hour east. The direction of the instantaneous velocity is not important when we're using the equations for circular motion from this video. It's enough to describe the velocity as counterclockwise or clockwise which is positive or negative. But the direction of the instantaneous velocity is a concept you'll be expected to know.